Hi friends, today we are tackling a common issue in SQL Server reporting services, also known as SSRS, the error message, an error occurred within the report server database. This error can arise from connection failures, timeouts, or low disk conditions. Let's dive in and resolve this together. This error typically occurs due to a connection failure, timeout, or a low disk space within the SSRS database. The full error message reads, an error occurred within the report server database. This may be due to a connection failure, timeout, or low disk condition within the database. Now let's talk about some initial checks that you must perform. First, ensure that the SQL Server reporting services, SSRS, are up and running. Also, verify that the user accessing the reports has the necessary permissions and that the SSRS instances service account has DB owner access to the report server and report server temp DB databases. If the initial checks are fine, we proceed to advanced troubleshooting steps. In SQL Server Configuration Manager, navigate to SQL Server Services, then right click on the SQL Server Reporting Service and on the Advanced tab, find the dump directory path. Then, via Windows Explorer, navigate to the dump directory folder. This is actually the location of the SSRS instances log files. In there, try to reproduce the issue and then directly open the latest log file. Then, check the entries in the log file where, in addition to the initial error message, you will also find more details. For example, you might see the additional error message, the transaction log for database report server is full. If you indeed find the error about the transaction log, then it is crystal clear that you need to check the database server onto which the report server database is hosted for disk space issues. In this case, you need to check the drive that hosts the transaction log file for the report server database. If you cannot shrink other log files and thus return space back to OS for further use by the transaction log of database report server, then you will need to add more space to the disk. To summarize, resolving this error involves the following. Checking SSRS status, user permissions, service account access, and disk space. For more insights on artificial intelligence, databases, programming, and tech trends, subscribe to my channel on YouTube. Stay tuned for more knowledge-packed content.